What's going on everybody? Izumi Hongos here, Sounds Like Mangoes. Talk to you about Marcus Aurelius Antoninus and the practice of Stoicism and how any creative individual can take these practices as we are constantly working for the muse. For those of you wondering who Marcus Aurelius Antoninus was, he was the last of the five good emperors during his time in Rome. Back then, Rome was the most powerful nation in the world. Marcus was born into fame, fortune, money, an immense amount of power, the most amazing military that the world had ever seen. He saw an insane amount of tragedy through plague, war, and his constant political disputes, but he never let the external world bother him. The only question that he had at the end of the day when he was going to sleep was, how do I be a better person? And much like you and me, he had access to the tool known as stoicism. The endurance of pain or hardship without the display of feeling and without complaint. If I could paint a picture for you of stoicism, I'd like for you to imagine a rock in the ocean. The way that the ocean swivels and moves around, kicks it left, right, center, up and down. But despite all this, the rock never reacts. Imagine if a single rock tried to control the entire ocean. It would just lose its freaking mind, right? However, this does not mean that the rock doesn't feel anything. Contrary, it feels absolutely everything. That's why it has its crevice, its soothing parts. And that's why we as humans admire its imperfections. Today, I wanna to share just a few of my favorite passages that I rewind back in order to ground myself as I make some of my work, and hopefully they provide some sort of value to you. The first passage goes, everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective and not the truth. Everything that a creative makes will be subject to everyone's opinions and everybody has one. Take example, the Mona Lisa, one of the most amazing pieces of work could be seen as just boring, dull, or uncreative to thousands of people. Probably even during Da Vinci's time, someone thought that it was a mid piece of work. But should that ever really bother the creative? Well, no, if it comes from a place of truth and honestly, then other people's opinions are just unnecessary noise and chatter. Life is a very subjective game based on what we see and the way that we respond to it. At any moment, we can apply one of the four virtues of stoicism in order to calm ourselves down. Remember that the balance goes both ways when we criticize our work and the work of others. Next, and by far my favorite quote by Marcus Aurelius is, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. I, I had to look up what the word impediment means because <laughs> I didn't know what it meant at all, but it essentially means the obstacle. I think that this is a quote that you need to take in hindsight. For example, anyone that's graduated from college knows how difficult it is to land your first job. For example, for me, I had to work an insanely low minimum wage job. But if I look at it in hindsight, it had a lot of valuable lessons. It taught me how to deal with people from all sorts of backgrounds, work with really annoying managers, and just gain a lot more gratitude when the job that I did had had a lot more benefits and freedoms. And whenever someone is chasing some sort of great medium or creative work, know that the obstacles are always the way. And then finally, what is eternal fame? Emptiness, that what should we work for? Only this, proper understanding, unselfish action, truthful speech, and resolve to accept whatever happens as necessary and familiar flowing like water from the same source and spring. The reason that I love that quote is because it sounds like Marcus was born during the time of social media. I personally think that algorithms and what we perceive online make it look like fame and fortune should be the ultimate goal for any creative when it is ever so fleeting. It is based on the outer world's demands of bigger, better, bigger, better, bigger, and better. But in reality, as long as you're making the work that resonates with you, and you have a small audience that understands your work, then really what is fame and fortune since we'll all end up being stardust once again. I can't believe that I learned so much from a dead guy. 
<laughs> I, I really can't. Um, it is truly a timeless passage. And while I was reading it, I'm like, what if like Marcus Aurelius didn't write this? Like what if it was just like Marcus Aurelius' janitor or something? Like that's my conspiracy theory with this book. I hope that you as a creative person took some sort of resonance or a quote that you carry in the back of your pocket. I loved the impediment to action advances action so much that it is a poster that's available down below for anybody that's been on the website. It's like, what is this? Uh, that's what it's for. Um, I've been meaning to make this video for such a long time. And, um, you know, this part of the creative ways channel, like I, I, I really want to talk about books and creative methods and meditation for you guys. So let me know. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, what are your thoughts as a creative person or anyone that has really read the book? Um, because it's truly amazing how it can be applied even today in a noisy and chattery world. But as always, I thank you so much for your time and your attention. My name is Asmi Hongos, and I'll catch you in the next one.